Have you ever seen the tiger? Tiger is our national animal. Do you know the Bengal tiger was declared as the national animal of India in April 1973? Why I am speaking so much about tiger? Because my today's topic is something related to tiger. That is Project Tiger. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope all are doing good. And in my today's topic, I am going to talk about the Project Tiger. Today's video is helpful to the aspirants of UPSC exam because Project Tiger is an important topic and which comes under Environment and Ecology section of the UPSC exam. We all know that recently a Prime Minister visited Bandipur Tiger Reserve and he went on a safari on April 9, 2023 to mark 50 years of Project Tiger. Tiger is an endangered species in the world. But at the turn of the 20th century, India had a population of tigers that ranged from 20,000 to 40,000. But due to the hunting practices of the Maharajas and the British, as well as poaching activities, their number drastically declined. Basically, in order to protect the wildlife and to save the flora and fauna and to protect the endangered species like the tigers, the government came up with the new environmental legislations and with new projects. So how this project tiger has been started? Going back to the history, in the year 1969, that is IUCN, International Union for Conservation of Nature, held at India. So after this conference, the environmental legislation started enforcing in India one by one. Soon after the IUCN conference, we have signed the Ramsar Convention. It is also known as Wetland Convention in the year 1971. The main focus of this convention is to protect the wetlands. In the year 1972, Madam Indira Gandhi government passed the Wildlife Protection Act. The main aim of this act is to protect and preserve the different species of the flora and fauna. And on 1st April 1973, Project Tiger was launched with an ambitious aim of increasing the population of Royal Bengal Tigers in the country. The state government was given a grant from the central government so that the state government can maintain a tiger reserve in the state and conserve the Royal Bengal Tigers and protect them from the extinction and also increase their population and also provide protection to the natural heritage. We can see that starting from 9 reserves in 1973, the project tiger coverage has increased to 54 at present. Uh, at present, we have 54 tiger reserves in India. The well-known tiger reserves in India are Bandipur at Karnataka, Panna at Madhya Pradesh, Satpura at Madhya Pradesh, Madhumalai, Tamil Nadu, Nagarhole, Karnataka, Ran Tambur, Rajasthan. The tiger reserves are constituted on a core and buffer strategy. Core areas. It is a protected area. It is a most protected area of a biosphere reserve. It may contain endemic plants and animals. It is a protected region like national park, sanctuary and it is kept free from human interference. Buffer zone. Here, limited human activities are permitted. The buffer zone surrounds the core zone. It includes the limited tourism, fishing, grazing, research and educational activities, etc. Next is transition zone. Here, several human activities are allowed in this zone. Example, settlements, cropping, forestry, recreation, etc. Next is Tiger Census 2022. Our Prime Minister recently released the figures of the fifth cycle of India's Tiger Census 2022, revealing that 6.7% increase in the past four years. The current tiger population in India is 3,167. From the past census, we could see that there were 2,000 967 tigers recorded in 2018 and 2,226 tigers in 2014. There has been a significant increase in the tiger population 
in the Shivalik hills and Jangetic plains. While the tiger population decreased in Jharkhand, Odisha, Chhattisgarh, Telangana, and also in the Western Ghats. NTCA, that is the administrating body for the project, is the National Tiger Conservation Authority. The NTCA was formed in 2005 as per the recommendation of the Tiger Task Force. The main administrative function is to approve the conservation plan prepared by the state government. For every four years, the National Tiger Conservation Authority conducts a tiger census across India. Moving on to the other tiger programs, that is Global Tiger Recovery Program, the declaration called Petersburg Declaration. The declaration focused on doubling the tiger population was signed in 2010. Later on, Global Tiger Program was initiated. This was nothing but an international effort to save the tiger. There are 13 countries, they are part of global tiger recovery programs. They are Bangladesh, Bhutan, Cambodia, China, India, Indonesia, Malaysia, Laos, Myanmar, Nepal, Russia, Thailand and Vietnam. Next is Integrated Tiger Habitant Conservation Program. It was launched in the year 2014. This program aims to save tigers in the wild, preserve tiger habitants. The initiative was to formed to contribute to the Global Tiger Recovery Program. Global Tiger Forum Global Tiger Forum is an intergovernmental, international body working exclusively for the conservation of tigers. It was established in the year 1994. The main objective of this is to promotion of global campaigns to save the tigers and also to increase the number of the habitants for the tigers. That's it guys in my today's video. I hope this video helped you to know something about the project tiger and if you like my video hit like share and subscribe. See you in another new video. Until then take care. Bye bye.